everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy, if you're new here. Today we are going on an exciting adventure. We are exploring the Humboldt Park neighborhood in Chicago. Known as a predominantly Puerto Rican neighborhood, we are doing a theme of Caribbean food today, which I am so excited about. I literally cannot wait. We're gonna try some Puerto Rican food, some Dominican food, which I've never had before. We're gonna be joined by my friend Ronnie, who hosts the Rojo Basement Podcast, and we are gonna check out these places with him. We are gonna meet one of his friends who owns the Puerto Rican restaurant, and I am just so excited to check out the scene. So let's go stuff our faces. We're starting our day at Dope Drip Cafe, a family-owned Puerto Rican restaurant in Humboldt Park owned by David, Ronnie's longtime friend. David and his wife Genevio were kind enough to let us come behind the scenes and learn more about how they make each dish, starting with their Cafe Con Leche, the perfect delicious pick-me-up. the eyes. <laughs> yeah, you have to see the eyes. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are at Dope Drip Cafe in Humboldt Park. This is my friend Ronnie. Hello. He is the host of the Rojo Basement podcast, and he was kind enough to bring us here and introduce us to David and Geneva, who own Dope Drip Cafe, and we're about to go ham yes. in this food. We are. Yes. Are you ready? I am so ready. <laughs> um, do you want to explain to us what we're about to try first? So, maybe for us, a steak sandwich. You know, the ones they press usually in the delis, but this one is made really, really well. So we're about to dive into this. It's made with onions, tomatoes, uh, lettuce, and their special sauces we have right here, all three of them. And uh, we're about to try it out, you know? Yes, you I'm so excited. I think that this is a salsa, um, a chimichurri, and a chipotle, I believe, is what mm -hmm, they said. Mm -hmm. These are all homemade sauces that they make here. So let's try this. I'm so excited right now. Well, let's dive in. Okay, I need to try the chipotle one because I'm just gonna pour one. a little on here. Actually, I'm gonna try it without sauce first. You know that's that, that's the best way to eat it as well. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah you gotta try it. Just you're as good. Is. You're good. I know, I know about food. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that is so good. Is this real? Honestly, it is so good on its own. You don't even need sauces, no. honestly. It is so good on its own. Now would it be a pro to add a sauce? Yeah, now we're Let's taking it to the next level. Let's try it out. Just do a little sauce. This is their chipotle. Look at that. I love So now onions. we're gonna do the bite with the sauces. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, ready. Right, let's go. This is phenomenal. Like this is like actually unreal. I'm gonna try yours now. Yeah, I'm gonna try this chimichurri. Whenever I say chimichurri, it makes me think of that song <laughs> from Mary Poppins. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. These are all homemade. You could you could taste that homemade, you know, mm -hmm. flavor. You really can. Yeah. You can tell that it is. Mmm. That's got a little kick to it. I like that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's so good. It's like spicy. Yeah. But it's like not too not too much heat. No. Like anybody could eat that, I feel like. It's really pleasant on the palate, like mm -hmm. really smooth. It is. Yeah, it's, this, this is a must try. This is a must try. You guys, if you're in Chicago, you have to try this place, Dope Drip Cafe. I mean, just the sandwich alone so far has been unreal. We're trying more things, but it's just the bread is so crispy on the outside, but so soft on the inside. The it's steak, well done. It's well done. The steak is like perfectly tender. All of the flavors are so good. I, I'm gonna dig it. Me too. <laughs> The next thing we're trying is something that I have been really looking forward to. It looks incredible. We are here with David, who is the owner of Dope Drip Cafe, and he's going to explain to us what we are trying next, which I am so excited about, because it's your own creation, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, explain this to us. These are tamafongos. This is a beef tamafongo, and this is a shrimp tamafongo. Puerto Rican style tamales. Basically, instead of masa, we use plantains. Mash the plantains with garlic. We roll them up into what, whatever protein we're gonna use, either beef or, we also have chicken, but beef or uh, shrimp. We roll them up, then we uh, pour a broth over it, shrimp broth or beef broth, yeah. and then we drizzle them with uh, mayu ketchup. Oh. This looks so good. It looks very, it looks phenomenal. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for letting us come here and show off your incredible food. Um, we're so happy to be here. Thank you guys for showing up and, uh, yeah. you know, bringing this to the, to the light. Yeah, we are more than happy to. It's so good. It's yeah. worthy of every <laughs> attention that it gets. So everybody come check it out. Double Jim Cafe. I'm gonna dive right in. 
Look at the broth. Oh my gosh, look at the shrimp. The texture is so right already, I can tell. I can't even anticipate what this is gonna taste like and I'm so excited. Wow. This is seriously some next level stuff right here. This is amazing. Like, this is incredible. I don't even... This, this is what I've never tried. This, this is like a, something alien to me. I've never tried before. It is exploding right now, like flavors. This, the this, flavor this is insane. insane. And what's interesting is like, this is bananas, correct? Yeah. Or plantains? Yep. And it doesn't taste like it. Like it totally has a totally different flavor than what I was anticipating. I thought that that was gonna be like a strong part of the flavor, but it really isn't. It's just the starch. Basically. Yeah. It's the starch. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Insane. It's so good, I'm going back in. I taste the garlic, the beef, everything. Mm-hmm, the garlic, mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> you guys gotta try this on my phone go. The garlic, you're so right, it's so yeah. good. This is insane, like honestly. It's well balanced, you could taste the plantain, mm -hmm. the garlic, mm -hmm. and the broth, it just like gives it that extra kick. The broth, yeah, it really does. And the little sauce they put is also just oh the cherry on top. This, it is, this is incredible. Honestly, this is amazing, um, I can't stop. If you guys um, <laughs> don't come here, I don't know what's wrong with you. Yeah, <laughs> you have serious issues if you don't come here. We had one more dish to try and I was already intrigued because of a certain ingredient. So that's uh, cauliflower rice with our chicken and salsa, our pickled onions, our <clears throat> corn, pico de gallo, and our house guacamole. This oh. looks so good. I'm intrigued by the cauliflower rice. Oh, yeah, that I looks like it. rice, so yeah. I'm like. Uh -huh. And it's garlic. Oh, Salt. yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. You wanna dive in? Let's dive in. I'm a person of flavor. Same. My husband is a light seasoner until now. <laughs> Here we go. Another home run. Doesn't even taste like cauliflower. No, no. <laughs> so this is healthier than regular rice. No, right? Yeah. That's so this is what I right need right now. But the <laughs> I'm just getting in here now because it's I, so good. I didn't expect that. <laughs> this is oh, I never okay. had cauliflower rice, first of all. Well, I love rice, so that's always my Me problem. Too. Me too. We both love yeah, rice. like rice. Yeah. Is, my kids I love. It. I, don't, I think we over. Yeah. <laughs> <exerted> <laughs> on what's a rice. Meal is not a meal rice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I love rice. Like I love anything that has like a rice-based mm -hmm. dish. I love it. So Especially I'm like, this is blowing my mind. <laughs> <I need rice. laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Even though we just ate a ton of incredible food, it was time to make room for our next stop family-owned Dominican restaurant, Tropical Taste. Ronnie, explain where we are, hit us with it. So we're here in the Humboldt Park area. Humboldt Park is known for flavors from all across the city. And so my goal is to show Chrissy, man, like you could eat good, very cheap. So like we already figured out, right? Yeah, dope drip. I cannot believe that some of the things we're eating, like that tomofongo, $5. $5. Mind blown. Yes, so this restaurant is a Dominican <laughs> restaurant. It is very good. Um, my uncle, he was Dominican. I was raised with him since my whole life, and he was a cook. So he passed away, and I wasn't able to eat that kind of cooking for a long time until I found this place. So let's go check it out. I'm so excited! We tried three truly incredible dishes at Tropical Taste. Oxtail stew with black beans and rice, the roasted chicken with rice, and my personal favorite, the chicken stew with white rice. This food was incredibly flavorful and the meat was perfectly cooked. I was honestly not hungry at all when we walked into Tropical Taste and I am not lying when I say I destroyed the chicken stew in its entirety. It was so good. Plus everyone who worked in the restaurant was so nice and hospitable. We left Tropical Taste feeling like we just made a bunch of new friends. If you want to try authentic Dominican food, do not hesitate and go to Tropical Taste. For our final stop, we traveled a little north of Humboldt Park to Logan Square to eat at Tropicuba, an amazing Cuban restaurant. This place has a super fun atmosphere and plenty of delicious menu items to choose from. We ordered iced cafe con leches to get our energy up for our last meal of the day. We decided to share two classics, a Cubano sandwich and their steak sandwich. I always love a Cubano and theirs was super good, but my surprise favorite was the steak sandwich. 
It was absolutely delicious with the perfect amount of cheese and a ton of onions, which is just the best. I can't wait to go back and have another meal at Tropicuba. That is it on our little Caribbean adventure in Chicago. All of the food we tried today was so freaking good. I'm already counting down the days until I can go back. You guys should absolutely check out Ronnie's podcast, The Rojo Basement. I'm gonna link it below in the description. Ronnie interviews some really interesting people, shares some really interesting stories, so definitely check out his podcast. It is well worth it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.